So once again, welcome to another topics video, where I basically cover anything and everything. One topic could be about virtual reality, and the next about aliens, not that one, living among us on planet Earth. As you can see in the top right, the countdown timer returns. Pray, this will let you know exactly when topics conclude, and you can skip ahead 5 seconds by tapping the right arrow key. Here is a very well-known AI art text generator called Dolly 2. You type in text and it generates art. Super simple and heckin' cool, right? But take a look at this. There's more to it. So first, let me grab an AI-generated picture from Lifey Labs, cause why not? And now, let's import into Dolly Owl Painter, then ask it to generate a body for it in the exact same style. Please, wonderful Dolly, generate a beautiful body for me. And there you go, bibbity bobbity fucking boo. There's hundreds of thousands of bodies to choose just for you. What's surprising about this is how intelligent and capable it feels, with almost no extra prompts needed. But things didn't go so smoothly the next time around. Take a look at the arm and the hand. So I asked Dolly to fix that shit and voila, it was executed with perfection. You can change anything and add anything. I say I want a beautiful crown, and there we go. Out painting is just one of the many new AI art tools. There's in painting and image to image, and so much more. Dolly 2 requires money, but you can sign up instantly now and trial it for free. For those looking for a completely free solution, there's stable diffusion. That's also open source. Um, it's honestly kind of nauseating how fast all of this is moving. I really can't keep up. Should you be concerned if you are an artist? Yeah, of course. Dolly 2 can redraw the same details from the original image onto a completely new one in a very different way. I asked it to draw me a set of Twitch emojis that knew exactly what I wanted and sometimes got the eye color and hair color correct, but I couldn't execute on quality. But that won't always be the case. 1024 resolution now, 24-8 resolution tomorrow. There are models being trained to improve generation ability for manga and even character sheets. This is kind of sad, but what's probably going to happen, not overnight, but over time, is that artists will slowly find that they aren't getting as many customers as they once did, because instead of going to the artist, customers want the good AI to pay less. From backgrounds to concepts to character designs, AI is more likely to replace you, and not what they intend for it to do, assist. Pour one out for the artists. Hey, AI. Please spawn a 3D turkey with a pumpkin on its head. The beginnings of being able to generate any 3D model you want is on the way. Oh, and hey AI, please make a video of a turkey getting pissed off for having a pumpkin planted on its head. The beginnings of being able to create any videos with text is also on the way. I went ahead and processed the exact same footage into all of the AI options, and I closely examined the exported data in Blender and Unity, comparing them side by side. And, if you look at my cute little chart, I've pit each AI option against the other, and applied a ranking. This should help give you a strong idea of where each one stands against the other. A ranking being top tier amazing, and D ranking being absolute fucking garbage. This is a test combining my personal deepfake model of Emma Watson, and a real-time Emma Watson voice model by Voice.ai. As you can see, it's absurd. So be scared because the present's weird, but the future, quite frankly, the future is going to be even weirder. Voice AI has opened access to their beta. You can download the Windows software by an easy Mayan light code, which will also be placed in the video description. There are over 300 public voices to choose from, and you can make private voices, though that feature will eventually become paid. It's going to be super affordable and usable for free. Uh, as of right now, there are snow detection tools. So welcome to the wild west of AI voice changing. Um, if you want to learn more and a more AI options, I'm gonna have it up on my Patreon. True real-time deep baking is here. 
Han Kui is launching an easy-to-use TTS studio and has an exceptional quiz cloning requiring less than 30 seconds of data with near instant processing results. If you love the Replica Studio, then I think you'll love this. We don't know how many text-to-speech voices it will launch with, or the price right now, but I heard it's gonna be on the wild in a couple weeks. Four day break, a couple holiday. Um, if you're talking like abroad, then... So once again, welcome to another topics video, where I basically cover anything and everything. One topic could be about virtual reality, and then the next about aliens, not the... All you need for the scan is your phone, and you can pretty much do this anywhere. Meta showed off their instant codec avatar research at MetaConnect 2022, and uh, you basically can clone yourself using your phone, and it looks pretty realistic. And yeah, that's pretty cool. VTube Studio, with the help of NVIDIA, released a big webcam faithful tracking update that works with, uh, you know, simple webcams. And they compared it to the iPhone, and it just, it looks really good. Sorry for taking so long to get a new video out. That's kind of about it. A lot of topics expired since I took too long to talk about them. Oh, and... You should have noticed a slight uptick in video editing quality for this one. I switched over to ClipChamp Video Editor, which is really great, except for the 1080p limitation. As for my avatar situation, I'm pretty sure that I'll return to Upward Studio Avatar for convenience purposes. I was basically pushed off my previous style after multiple dropped by negative comments which eroded my confidence in that style and avatar which was kind of sad but in the end i agreed with it it was you know pretty flawed in many areas and i don't know i just caught up and i need to make a change okay that's about it for this one thanks for watching have a good day